Hello Galaxy Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Galaxy. Today is patch day again and what did we get? Let's take a look at the patch notes first and then see what we can see in the game. So first thing, we do have now a simulation battle feature in the Galaxy Summit event. Alliance leaders can unlock this feature, I can already tell you not only Alliance leaders but deputies also. After being unlocked, Alliance members can join a simulation battle against the Galaxy Summit Academy. Um, this will be a PvE a simulated, so not PvP. Um, the simulation battles won't affect your Galaxy Summit points. We have to see how that really works out. I think that is great, because that would mean we can do these kind of events anytime we feel fancy. And um, while this does not give any rewards at the moment from what I can read there, it might open the door for future editions and systems like this. So next thing, the discovery system and UI have an all new revision. Commanders can use the memory cubes to unlock or increase new metal states. Um, that is big, we will take a look into this. They also added memory cube rewards and slightly reduced the number of resource rewards in the Galaxy Summit event. Memory cubes can unlock or increase new metal states. So metal states is something new, we will have to see how they work. Fully optimized the incident system UI. Yes, it looks very different now. Um, commanders can explore to collect all kinds of discoveries in the galaxy. Um, repairing flagships, we can use repair speed ups to quickly do this now. Um, and when the spaceport hasn't reached level 15 or level 20, level 15 we won't have nickel and plasma available, level 20 before we won't have um, plasma available. So nickel usually unlocks at 15, plasma unlocks at 20. So they won't appear in the alliance territory top, in the alliance territory taxes anymore. They also moderately increased the time needed to repair the alliance HQ. Um, let's see how that affects the game or what we have there now. So first of all, the simulation battle. Um, going to the alliance tab, going to Galaxy Summit. You see we do have the summit where we can declare war and we do have a man to machine simulation. Only alliance leaders and deputies can unlock this drill. Um, as soon as we do this I will make a separate video about it to show you um, the new system there. Um, as I said I'm very curious about it. I want to see how that works. Discovery. <laughs> this is really big. When we click on on the incidents, where the discoveries were before, you see this is really a complete new UI. We can still click on the different zones that were on the map before to get this overview. I already did all the discoveries, so I don't have anything here. As you see, there are no discoveries or investigations I can do. Um, if you are not already playing the game for one year, you might still have some there. Incidents currently no incidents. Um, we will see, maybe we will get something in the future, maybe this is also only for old content. Um, we have to see how that will work out. In the showroom we can see different medals and um, this is what they talked about with the memory cubes. You see with 400 memory cubes I can upgrade this. And at the moment it gives me development on all resource outputs, planet resource outputs. 6%, next one will be 7%. It's a very interesting mix, it also has flagship attack. Um, you get a small information here, so you can see um, how these develop and also when additional bonies come in. Frigate HP during cross nebula combat, destroyer armor during cross nebula combat. Um, so that's a galaxy summit for now. And these things, if you look here, they get really, really high. 84%. Um, and that's only one of the medals. Galaxy Trade. We do have navigation speed and resource gathering. Later we do get destroyer HP and cruiser shield. Next is archaeology. 
starting with some planet output and total warship armor, adding cruiser HP and frigate armor. Um, biology, resource gathering, warship shield, adding warship armor for all warships and warship HP for all warships. So that is always great. Um, spaceport construction speed, total warship attack, adding destroyer attack and frigate shield. So in special, if you are like a Hades user, this is amazing. You do get at the end 20% total warship attack plus 52% for your destroyer. So a total of 72% additional attack. Um, we do have architecture, storage center, total warship attack again. And with a warship attack, we do get total warship attack for um, cross nebula and total warship shield for cross nebula. Very, very strong also here. Um, history, uh, defense cannon attack and warship HP with the addition of warship attack and warship armor. So you can already see these things are important. Um, we have total warship, we have build speed, total warship HP, frigate attack, cruiser armor, and um, space geology, load boost. Okay, I don't need load boost anymore. Armor, shield, and attack. And the last one, research speed, warship shield, where we also get cruiser attack and destroyer shield. So all of these are really strong. Um, we start with 400 of these memory cubes to upgrade it. We can get them in Galaxy Summit. Sure, we can get them in value packs. But now let's take a look. There's more coming. Outermost Crusade. Um, the Outermost Crusade event is something we did not yet see. So there's more content waiting for us. We get an overview here of the total bonus we have. So even without spending anything, I already get 6% additional resource gathering on planets, 6% attack, and so on and so on. So um, I think that's very interesting. We have two different um, resources here, alien cubes and memory cubes. We already heard about the memory cubes being available in, um, in the Galaxy Summit and the event we don't know yet. The alien cubes, I didn't read anything about these in the patch notes. From what we see now, they will be only available in the Outermost Crusade and in the Super Value Packs. Um, currently there's not even one available to buy these. That's very unusual for, for Camel, that they give us new content, but not directly anything where we can buy this. Um, Maybe that's a good sign. We will see. Okay, so yeah, incidents, um, the encyclopedia. I skipped that. I didn't talk about this. So I did not have discovered fixed star. I did not have discovered planets yet. I have no idea what I have to do for this, honestly. Um, hurry up to explore and find the West Galaxy. I thought I already have everything. Um, I already can get the Marauder reward. Um, Starfield stage, Galaxy Gate, defense coordinates. I have to figure out how I can do this. So clicking here, um, I see this. So let's see when I go, maybe I, all I have to do is going to um, one of these things in, in the galaxy map. Let's try this out directly here. We click on the galaxy map. Um, with a new galaxy map, we can directly go to key coordinates like Starfield Stages, Imperial Fortresses. Um, oh, that's great. They also added an indicator if it's complete or if the challenge is not yet complete. So I do, I do really like that. That is amazing. So when we zoom out here, as we can see here, I do have these, um, this Imperial Fortress, they are green, so they are already um, completed. And I zoom more out, yes. Here in the outer area. I'm very curious if I missed 
any of these um, because it was very difficult. It was impossible to see before. You could just say, "Oh, I do everything again," because you forgot. Also, I'm not sure if this is complete by the lines or if this is complete by the player. If you know this, if you figure this out by having something not complete but your alliance has it complete, please let me know in the comments. So for me it looks like I have all of these already completed. So let's go just to um, one of the Imperial Fortresses here. And when we click it, ah, it doesn't go into this discovery mode. Oh, no, there's a discovery mode. Okay. Um, what was the next thing I had to discover? Let's quickly take a look. Advanced Fortress. Discovered. Great. Okay. So it is that easy. Marauder discovered. Starfield Stage. Um, Galaxy Gate. So I think I already showed you how to do this. Just go to your Galaxy View. Um, you can zoom out a little bit to find these things quicker. That was not my intention. Um, zoom, zoom, zoom. And there we do have a Starfield stage. And we go inside there and we do directly get this nice video. I really think this video is not so bad. Um, but I anyhow, I always skip it. Sorry, Camel. I know you put a lot of work into these. Um, can I jump there? No. Um, so let's zoom out again. Uh, ah, I found a plasma gas. Um, probably I have to do that anyhow at one point. <laughs> so even if you discovered these before, you now have to rediscover them. So just go there, click around a little bit, and um, you should get the discovery. That's still not an AGN gate. Sorry for that. I'll have to... Uh, I have to go closer to the center for this. So... Yeah, the zooming on blue stacks is horrible. Um, but at the moment this is the only um, emulator we are allowed to use by Camel all other emulators got banned and um, so I have to live with there's a AGN I have to live with the horrible zooming but um, yeah there are worse things at least I can still use it play with it come on give me the give me the video do I already have it now let's see um, yes so even without the video, we already have it. So Galaxy Gate, Fortress, Core Fortress. Um, and we do get additional rewards. So we get more Core Module um, XP. And as we can see, I do have to click a lot of the stuff. Um, I saw in our chat that there were a few people sharing some of these coordinates. Discover the Stargate. Um, so let's see if that works, if I just click these links. Yes, I know that I already just covered this, but I have to do it again. Because of Camel, thank you. Um, drifting storage, what do we have here? Ghost Rider. So let's see if we now go into our incidents. We did get the Stargate, okay. But I did not get the ghost frighter why did i not get that one um i can't click it i don't know why maybe that's not my ghost frighter i have no idea um can zoom in yeah it doesn't allow me to click it so that's a little bit of a problem but i think overall the idea how that should work is clear. So you just look for something, Starfield stage, um, you go back. I know here there should be a... there. Star system. 
Did this work? It did not work. A defense coordinate. Come on, let's discover a defense coordinate. We do have some here in the inner ring. So, okay, here we go. Teleport field, core fortress. I don't see anything popping up there. That's already a bad indication. Let's go more to here. Ah, come on, move. <laughs> I really hate that. Sorry for for this horrible. Ah, yeah, that zooming is just a nightmare here. There's our space city. So let's click on the imperial city. Let's click on one of these defense coordinates. Let's go to one of the next ones here. Yeah, the <laughs> okay, the event has not unlocked, so I can't click these. But now I have three things in the incident. So we did get the Imperial City. That's good. We get the Imperial Guard. Also good. We did get the Defense Array. So that is nice. Um, we do have quite a few. We have to click all the different fortresses. Um, all the things that you find during... Oh, Alliance HQ and Outpost. That's an easy one. Um, I know where that is. It's hidden somewhere here. Okay, found it. And an outpost, I just go to the next system. Well, that would be too easy once again. Yes, and we do get the videos here also, so that is more clear. Um, good, so that's it from that side. I don't know, Let, let's just cover a few planets. Let's see if something pops up there. Let's click our first planet here. Check the incidents. Ah, now that we have one planet, it does show all the different types of planets I have to click. And that's a lot of planets. And same for the fixed stars. I have to click the stars. Usually I do this always by accident. Um, when I try to click on the outpost, I usually by accident click these... Um, stars already. For the planets um, should be easy to just click on the planet gatherings to get at least a few ones. If not another option would be to go into your alliance menu, um, alliance territory and then there so first you can see um, HQs, gates, outposts there if you quickly need to go to one of these. Um, but also you do have all the planets. So if you need a specific planet, level 4 or 5, you just can go there. Um, click on go. It's selected. You get the video. And I mean, I think you know, you get an idea how that works. Um, to speed it a little bit up, I would just click all the planets now in the system. And later figure out what is still missing. Relic, I don't have to discover that. I probably have to discover these kind of things. So, um, is this ah, more to discover? Um, I think it is interesting for for new players. It can be a little bit annoying for players that are playing already longer that we have to go on this kind of um, egg hunt now. Um, but on the other side, let's be honest, we don't have anything better to do. So at least there is now something we can do. We can search these different types of... Oh God, of stars. I think I have to click every single system here. But um, yeah, so to start with, probably the easiest is to just go and click through all the planets in some of the neighbor systems. Um, this way you already get the first 100 discoveries or something like this. And um, from there on then start really hunting down the few that 
you still don't have discovered yet. Oh, I see there is also another space relic. No space relics. We don't need them. Um, what do I think about this patch? You know, guys, I'm always optimistic. How do I see this? We do have something new. Um, we do see that there's more new stuff coming in the future. That is also good, in my opinion. Um, we know that there will be more events coming. We know that there will be more PvE-related things coming, especially for the Nebula versus Nebula. We see that Camel has more plans there for us for the future. Um, so therefore, I do not see any nerf here. Yes, I reduced the resources, resource rewards from Galaxy Summit. Um, I don't see Galaxy Summit as an event to gather resources. So therefore, I don't really would say that this is something critical or a big problem. Um, I think it's a good patch. Oh, I found something. I discovered something new. Um, yeah, I, I think it's it's an interesting thing. Um, I can't wait for our lines to start the man vs. machine simulation and take a look into this. As said, I will make another video about this. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video. And then I see you all on the next video again.